Welcome to another exciting video on programming languages. Today we'll take a deep dive into the fascinating realm of programming languages, exploring the myriad reasons behind their existence and the diverse dimensions that set them apart. Ever wondered why there's such a profusion of programming languages out there? The answer is simple. Different problems demand distinct solutions, just as a chef chooses different knives for various tasks, programmers choose languages tailored to the project's unique needs. Programming languages are often categorized into various paradigms, each offering a different approach to problem solving. Let's briefly touch on some of these paradigms without diving too deep. The first one is imperative programming. It emphasizes step-by-step -step instructions, making your code read like a to-do list. Next up is procedural programming. It's all about functions and procedures, like breaking your code into smaller, manageable tasks. Now we have object-oriented programming. It organizes code around objects and classes like modeling real-world objects in your code. Moving on to logic programming, this one deals with rules and relationships, often used in artificial intelligence and database systems. Then we have functional programming, treating computation as mathematical functions focusing on data immutability. Finally, there's pure functional programming, taking functional programming to the extreme with immutable data and avoiding side effects. Another vital aspect that distinguishes programming languages is their type systems. These systems govern how data types are used and verified within a program. Two primary categories are static type checking and untyped programming. Static type checking enforces type constraints at compile time. This means that your code is checked for type errors before it's even run. It helps catch potential issues early in the development process, making your code more reliable. On the other hand, we have untyped programming. This approach allows flexibility by not enforcing strict type constraints, but it comes with a trade-off. It may lead to runtime errors as there is no guarantee that data will be of the expected type when your code is executed. Programming languages also vary in how they are executed. Some are compiled, translated to machine code before running, while others are interpreted, executed line by line as they run. In addition to execution, we have the distinction between managed and unmanaged languages. Managed languages offer features like garbage collection for automated memory management, while unmanaged languages require manual memory control. Scripting languages are versatile tools known for their flexibility and agility. They are often used for automating tasks. We'll briefly discuss the characteristics of scripting languages and the relevance in the world of programming. In the world of programming languages, diversity is the norm. These languages are tools in our digital toolkit, each with a unique purpose. Understanding these differences is essential for selecting the right tool for your coding journey. Stay tuned for more videos where we'll dive deeper into specific languages and paradigms. Happy coding!